Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna look at the Snappa M1 phone stabilizer that just got out in Xiaomi's Mi Home store. And today I'm gonna show you how it works and look at its advantages and disadvantages when uh, compared to Xiaomi's own stabilizer that just got out as well. Let's go. In the box you'll find the stabilizer itself, a USB charging cable, some weights that you can add to the bottom of the stabilizer depending on what type of phone that you're shooting with. And it actually comes with a small pouch for carrying the gimbal with you. The stabilizer has a clip on top in which you can place your phone. It's got a built-in motor that compensates for shocks and stabilizes your motion. It will follow the camera moves you make and pretty much smooth them out. It comes with a built-in battery of 1050 mAh and it will connect with your phone over Bluetooth. Now let's look at how it performs. These are some shots that I've done around May when I first received this device. It really performs quite well and I could actually make some pretty useful shots with it. Its clip can be adjusted from 58 to 85 millimeters, so it should fit a whole bunch of phones, including the Mi Notes and iPhone Plus size models. It can hold phones up to 220 grams, so I could easily use it with my uh, iPhone 6S. It also works with my Mi Mix 2, although I feel that is a bit too big for the stabilizer. And when it's perfectly centered, the clip actually pushes down my on off button, so that's not really helping. These are some other shots that I've made using my iPhone while I was in Huangshan earlier this year. And this shot right here I've made using the Mi Mix 2. This gimbal is pretty easy in use, but it's quite bulky to hold, coming in at 450 grams, making it a pretty heavy device. They have a Snappa app out in the store for both Android and iOS that is designed to work with this stabilizer. However, you could use the stabilizer standalone without the app as well. I do notice it makes images a lot smoother when using the app over the stock camera. You can only record up to 2K videos on the iPhone and HD on Android, while my phone stock camera camera can record up to 4K. This makes me guess that there's definitely some stabilization going on inside of the app as well. The app is quite straightforward in use. It's pretty much a camera app that only works if the stabilizer is connected over Bluetooth. In the app you update its firmware and set its sensitivity and its follow speed. It also offers full control over your video settings, allowing you to change size and aspect ratio as well as ISO, exposure and white balance controls. The gimbal offers various tracking modes in including Omni, which tracks both horizontal and vertical movement. There's Pen Track, which follows horizontal moves only, and Lock, which locks the direction that you're pointing at. The stabilizer will adapt if you hold your phone in portrait mode, if you happen to shoot that way, perhaps for a live stream. And it also adapts to upside down recording in case you're shooting from a very low angle. So its options are pretty versatile. Now, let's look at my personal opinion on this gimbal and its advantages and disadvantages, especially compared with the recently released Xiaomi gimbal. This Snappa M1 stabilizer works with your phone. Having this work with the majority of phones that are out is a big advantage over the Xiaomi Mija gimbal that only works with their 4K camera. The Snappa is pretty large and heavy making it a little less comfortable in holding as opposed to the Mija gimbal which really has that nice grip and a really perfect size. Another disadvantage is that there's no controls on the handle to start and stop recording which is a pretty big downside. I found that tapping on on the screen to control the app is not ideal. It would have been great to see some controls on there, but yeah. In performance, both of these gimbals are really what you would expect and they both really give good results. And both are priced really well. So it really depends on your needs, which one is better for you. It just got officially out in the store just a few days ago, so you should be able to buy them as of now. So that was it. I hope you've learned something today about the Snappa M1 gimbal. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like on this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.